hey guys, come on in. Welcome to Christmas with the Campies. Happy 1st of December and welcome to our official Vlogmas where we're going to be doing five videos a week right up till the end of Christmas. So yeah, we thought we'll start the vlog off with our Christmas decorations and what we've done around the house. And I wanted to share with you guys, starting with our main living room tree. So the tree itself is from Myers. They had a sale not long ago and I managed to score a snowy tree. I've always wanted a flock of tree. Um, and when I saw it at a good price, I grabbed it. But I want to tell you where the bubbles are from. So the red ones are all from Kmart and they have so many different um, sizes and colors. I went for the larger ones and the smaller ones just to make it look a bit more interesting, I guess, to look at. And all the white bubbles are from Target. They're the only places that I found had the white bubbles. Um, the snowflakes you would have seen in my last video, they are from Myers as well, um, as well as the little crystals. I've got one here. Um, and these lighter bubbles with the candle inside, they're so beautiful. They are from Bed Bath and & Table. And so are these ones up here. And all the berries I bought last season from a craft store that they shut down, unfortunately. But I went out and bought all of these last year. So I am planning on using this throughout every Christmas. I love the berries. I collect them. And I want to eventually have so much berries that I can decorate the whole house. And yeah, so this year I didn't really find any berry stuff, so I didn't buy anything. But I bought all the other bubbles and yeah, that's my tree. And it's more glammy, it's very different to what I did last year. But I love it and it looks pretty and I think it makes the, the lounge area just look really nice. For the fireplace, I've just got some battery operated lights in there. So it looks like a foul fire. It is Brisbane and it's really hot. We have summer during our Christmas time, so they, there is no fireplace and hot chocolate by the fire, I guess. But that kind of gives the look. Um, and I've got a little sign on top of it and the reindeer on the side. And I've kept it really simple um, because the boys run through here. I didn't want them to trip over or, you know, get hurt or anything. Okay, let's move into the kitchen area and I'll show you guys what I did. So on this beam here, I've got this garland and I got this last year from Myers and I've wrapped it around. Um, I do this, I think, no, this is from 2018 and I've been doing this ever since and I like it up here. Um, and then if you come over this way, because I've got the bar stools here and it look really empty, I decided to just put these little wreaths that I found two years ago again at Kmart and I just bought ribbon and I tied it up to the chairs. So it looks, you know, festive and the kitchen looks festive as well. Um, I always have a all year wreath on top of my stove top, but for the seasons I change it out. So for Easter I'll have one and now I put the Christmas one up. So it looks really pretty. And then I swapped out my coffee sign for this cute little sign I found at TK Maxx and the mugs are from Target. And it's just, I'm going to maybe do a hot chocolate station here towards Christmas for the boys. So I thought it'll kind of blend work for me. Okay, what I haven't shown you guys is my other tree yet. So I decided to put up my second Christmas tree in our study area. And let's go have a look at it because it's completely different from my other tree. Now this tree is my old tree. I've had this for many, many years now and it is looking a little bare, but I thought I'll put it in this corner here because it looks really pretty, lights up this study area beautifully. Um, and I decided to do something different again. I've never done ribbon before and it was really hard finding ribbon for the tree that was quite thick enough. Managed to find this at the reject store if you're looking for ribbon. Um, yeah, and I added it all to the tree. I cut bits and pieces of it and just kind of like shoved them in where it looked a bit empty. And I went with the gold and I kept the red through this as well. And I think it turned out really nicely. So yeah, let me know you guys down below what tree do you prefer? Do you prefer the more glammy one in the lounge or do you prefer this one? More traditional, I think, here in the office. And also let me know if you guys have started decorating your trees up already or you decorated like me in November. So yeah, hope you guys guys enjoyed this video like always don't forget to subscribe and like and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys